All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we have you here, this Toro Time Cutter um, ZX440. Um, I wanted to go over an issue that was prominent to me, may not be to, you know, other folks, but I couldn't find any content out there explaining it or, you know, um, anything out there showing me how to, you know, resolve this issue. So what we have here is... Um, my issue starts here. These control pins here. Um, they rest in these sleeves. You know, they come up from the bottom. You know, and they come out here. You know, there's a pin here to stop it from falling back down and through. Um, the main responsibility for these pins are to control the wheel motors. Or the transmission, or whatever you want to call it. The hydrostatic uh, motor, if you will. So, um, first off, I can't find any material out there explaining why, you know, one of the motors didn't work as opposed to, you know, the other motor working. Um, so what I came up with, you know, I just troubleshoot, followed the um, mechanisms, just look down and under and see, seeing how they operated. And what I figured was, um, this pen was seized, you know, not allowing the wheel motor to um, be activated. Um, so, I got to the bottom of that issue. You know, I won't go over in depth with that, but I'll go over, you know, just getting those pens free. So again, those pens come up from the bottom. Go under the motor. Under the motor to show you. Um, so, they rest in that sleeve there, you know, they go up in the bottom and they operate this motor. They connect to this assembly here and it pretty much turns the motor side to side, turn it on to adjust the speed. Um, so when those are seized, the, the motor can't do that. So, I was trying and trying and trying to get it out. Um, one of my first mistakes was um, getting a hammer and trying to bang the pins through. Um, the number one thing that I ran into was that it was automatically damaged. This is at, actually at the market part. Well, sorry, um, a used part um, that I got offline. Um, so what happened was, of course, that sandwiched in and pushed out and pretty much destroyed the piece. You know, I probably could have salvaged it. Um, by grinding it down, you know, just trying to maintain it, but I wanted the machine to operate properly. So, um, what I finally came around to was just, you know, some PB blaster, you know, getting as much in as I can, um, spraying all around it, hoping that it seeped in, also use some transmission fluid, you know, all the tricks and all the tricks that you can, you know, to get it um, free from being seized up. Use the air hammer. That was another mistake, you know, because it further sandwiched it out, you know, um, hampering it from going all the way through. You know, if it has a lip now, it's not going to seat down and go all the way through. Um, so what I ultimately ended up doing was flipping this over, draining out the gas, flipping it on its side, and whacking it with a, you know, about a three pound hammer. Um, I end up grinding the size down with a um, grinder. Just grind it all the way down to, it was almost a point so they could slide right through, you know, and just hitting it with a hammer and a punch. Just a hammer and a punch. You wanna use a um, heavy duty punch. You know, you don't wanna use one of those cheap um, punches, you know. You can get them from anywhere, pretty much. Harbor Freight has quite a quite a selection of punches, so you know, you get yourself a punch um, that has a nice point on it, you know, and just bang it back and forth. So again, I flipped the mower over on the side, um, banged it back up, then banged it down, banged it back up, banged it down, banged it back up, banged it down, just to um, try to break free some of that rust and then eventually um, through all my banging, you know, I eventually banged it through and it came out. Um, 
Yeah, so just know that you can do it. I almost gave up on it, you know, because I was working with it, you know, on all four wheels as opposed to flipping it on the side. Um, so if you flip this mower on the side, again, drain the gas, flip it on the side, you'll have a better vantage point, you know, and you can get at it as you need to. Otherwise, you know, you're working from the top, you're working from the bottom. You know, you got it on jack stands, lift it up, you know, you're working at a, you have a disadvantage, you know. So, if you flip it on the side, that will help you out a whole lot. Alrighty guys, well, I'll leave you with that bit of information. I'll try to make a um, video on how it actually operates in depth. Um, well, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share, however you do, whatever you do, you know, just do what you do. Alright, peace.